looks like a fun word problem here. We have a street that is 125 meters long and it needs to be cleaned. Uh, street is 125 meters long and needs to be cleaned. It looks like I missed an S there. The street cleaning vehicle has wheels that have a diameter of 1.5. So there's a wheel and it has a diameter of 1.5. How many times does the wheel need to turn to travel the length of the street? So we're trying to figure out how many wheels go into the length of the street. So first of all, we have to figure out how long a wheel turns in one rotation. And of course, that would be related to the circumference of the circle that represents the wheel. So recall that circumference equals 2 times pi times r. So in our circumstance here, that would be 2 multiplied by pi. Now our software asks us to use the approximation 3.14 for pi. And the radius, since the diameter is given as 1.5, the radius would be half of that. We don't want 1.5, we want 0.75. We only want half of the diameter because that's what the radius is. So go 0.75. So I'm grabbing a calculator on the side. I'm admitting I'm not multiplying this out in my head or anything. But 2 times 3.14 times 0.75 is 4.71. So what this indicates is that every time the wheel turns, it travels 4.71 meters. So if you need to travel a street that is 125 meters long, we really need to figure out how many times does 4.71 go into 125. So 125 divided by 4.71 would indicate that we would need to travel 20. 6.539 many rotations. 26.539 rotations. Now depending upon rounding, I think that our software generally has us round to two decimal places. So you would be going 26.54 in this circumstance. Okay, this one has a few pieces, so let's see if you can really try one on your own. So honestly, pause the video and see if you can do this one. A barrel of whiskey is being rolled up a up, uh, 100 foot ramp. The barrel has to be rolled 30 times to get all the way up the ramp. What is the diameter of the circular base of the barrel? Okay, so the barrel looks like this, right? It's got a certain radius that we can use in order to solve for its circumference. And remember that the circumference is equal to 2 times pi times r. Now, in this circumstance, we don't actually know what the radius is, but we do know pi at least to a decimal approximation. We say that pi, at least according to our software, is 3.14 r, and so we get 6.28 r. Okay, but the barrel of whiskey is being rolled 30 times. So it's not just one circumference, it actually has to be done 30 times. So in my calculator, I'm just doing 6.28 times 30 to see how far we're going, and that would be 188.4, but then don't forget the r, the variable. And so if you roll that barrel 30 times, you get 188.4 r, and according to our problem, that's the 100 foot ramp. I almost erased that there. So it's the 100 foot ramp. So that must mean that this equals 100. So if we take both sides of this equation and divide by 188.4, we can see that we're getting that r must be equal to 100 divided by 188.4, and we get that r equals 0.53. Okay, that's our r, that's our radius. Is that good enough for us in this problem? Well, unfortunately, it doesn't ask for the radius, it asks for the diameter. So we have one last step to perform here, and that's to recognize that the diameter is equal to 2 times the radius. So it would be equal to 2 times 0.53 
and that of course is 1.06. So the final answer to this question is 1.06.